So let us come up and do one more concept that is differential rate loss. Right. So uh, basically, are uh, these differential rate loss in max? What do we call? We have, we have a topic called derivatives in max. Okay. Hope you are all max students, I believe. So derivatives. Right. What are these derivatives? Basically, derivatives are those which will explain the rate of change. Right. So I we use these derivatives for explaining the rate of change. Right. That means uh, the change in with respect to. Your time, correct. So this derivative uh, we uh, we express in which form? We express it is dy by dx. So what is this difference of y? Difference of y by difference of x of x, right? Now I'm going to use this derivative form and apply it to the chemical reactions which we are going to do in kinetics and write the differential rate equations. What do I mean by that? Suppose I have a reaction A, it's going to combine with B, it's going to form a product C and D. The coefficient of this is small a after balancing B, small c and small d. Fine? Yes. Now I have to write the rate of a reaction. Yes rate of a reaction to this. So I very well know <coughs> the rate of the reaction is equal to or decrease in concentration that is 1 by A yeah right so by the this one divided by D capital A by D T. I am using this here right rate of change dA by dt right now uh, here uh, if I uh, speak about uh, uh, this one also so the same thing suppose I am writing for B now rate of reaction for minus B D capital B by dt if I have to write for the product rate of the reaction is equal to plus 1 by C D's capital C by DT. Now if I have to write for D, rate of the reaction is equal to plus 1 by D, D capital D by DT. Yes, now, now the same uh, reaction if I have to write in terms of rate constant also, then how will I write this? I can write this as rate is equal to K into A. I am going to write together for this A raised to the power of m b raised to the power of n correct yes so how am i going to write this for the reactants term i'm going to write like this for the products also you'll be writing like that only a raised to the power of n sorry if i if you take this c raised to the power of m and say raised to the power of n so this is these this way of representing the rate equation using the derivatives or using this particular differential equations are called now this is called a differential of a by differential of t so using this derivative concept I have used this term called differential so such reactions or such rate law equations which you which use this particular concept are called differential rate laws or differential rate equations we will be doing for zero order pseudo first order first order uh, kinetics using this differential equations only so please Please note it whenever somebody is asking you simple suppose if the simple question is asked what is differential uh, rate uh, law or rate equation this is how you going to represent. So let us do one more uh, concept that is now we have already learnt what is rate law then I have told you what is rate constant then I have told you what are differential rate equations. Now let us do one difference between or if they are asking you suppose if they are asking you to write the difference between rate of a reaction and rate constant because I don't want you to lose that two marks out of five because five is the total marks of the chapter two marks may be definitions or differences and three marks is your numerical. So let us write what is the difference between rate of a reaction rate constant right rate of a reaction is represented by capital R and rate constant is represented by your K. Right. Now, how? What is the first difference? Let us write the definition difference in terms of definition first. So, rate of a reaction. What is rate of a reaction? It is equal to, or it is, it represents, or it is a dependency of rate of a reaction on the concentration of the reactants or products with respect to time. Correct. Right. So, let us write rate of a reaction depends 
on the concentration of the reactants or products with respect to time correct now what is rate constant rate constant is defined as it is the or rate constant is measured right uh, i'll write it is it is defined as defined when rate of the reaction right so when when do i define rate constant when that particular rate of the reaction and the concentration uh, define inner rate of a reaction when the concentration of all the reactants is 1 mole per liter so it is defined uh, when the rate of the reaction and we should not write when no it is defined as yes intrinsic measure this is better intrinsic measure of rate of reaction yes this is perfect rate of a reaction when concentration of all the reactants is equal to mole per liter that is 1 mole per liter right so when the concentration is reaching 1 mole per liter then i use a word or i introduce it a uh, k rate constant so it is defined as intrinsic measure of rate of reaction when concentration of all the reactants is equal to 1 mole per liter right 1 molar solution right now this is your first difference here it depends upon the concentration versus time there is no concept of time there it, it is come to 1 molar concentration let us come back and do the second one the units right so rate of a reaction units we already said this is equal to mole liter inverse correct if you are taking in minute it is minute inverse fine now rate constant uh, if i speak about rate constant rate constant unit depends upon the reactants only right if there are one uh, participating first order reaction if it is two participating second order three participating uh, this one so the first order both are participating one should be water so the rate constant units depends upon it depends on reaction or reactants participating it depends upon the reactants participating participating right now so what are the reactants participating suppose if i take for first order reactions yes for first order what uh, what is a unit unit is time inverse because it depends upon the reactants correct now <coughs> when i took the second order kinetics suppose if i take for second order right for second order uh, the units which we have written listen liter mole inverse minute inverse correct so this depends upon the reactants which are participating in the reaction that is most important now third difference when i speak about rate constant or rate of a reaction what is it depending upon it is depending upon concentration right so rate rate of reaction depends on concentration will this depend on concentration no so that is the most important does not depend on concentration that's it so we just going to introduce only when the concentration is reaching 1 mole per liter right 1 molar solution